five weeks ago. Different story here in New York City where it feels like we're getting an early jump on spring. Arthur Puente's got a full forecast. Yeah, we really had a nice spring preview this past weekend, Arthur. And even into last week where temperatures did reach the 70 degree mark in many spots. We were above average yet again in Central Park with our high of 63 degrees. Normally we should be at about 50 and our morning low was even warmer than that with a reading of 51 degrees. It was nice and mild but it wasn't quite the record. On St. Patrick's Day it has been as warm as 75 degrees. That was record set back in 1945. It's also been as cold as 9 degrees. That was back in 1916. The wettest St. Patrick's Day on record happened in 1968 and there was snow on St. Patrick's Day. Three inches the record snowfall. That was set back in 1967. Right now we're still feeling pretty good outside. It's 53 degrees in Central Park. We're at 50 degrees in Islip, 55 down the shore in Belmar. Up to the north we have 40s in White Plains as well as towards Bridgeport. Poughkeepsie is our cold spot on the map right now with a reading of 39 degrees. Now the winds were pretty blustery earlier today but they seem to have weakened just a bit here. We're running about 5 to 10 miles per hour but they will pick up in speed overnight and tomorrow will be another windy day across the tri-state area. Not much is happening on the radar although clouds are beginning to invade our sky at the moment. We did see plenty of sunshine today with a couple of puffy cumulus clouds but now we're going mostly cloudy throughout the evening and there is the threat of a couple of isolated showers well up to our northwest coming downwind of the Great Lakes. This is part of a, a system that will bring some wet weather across the central part of the state and some of these showers could clip portions of Sullivan County and Ulster County as we go through the rest of the evening here. Now other than that it's relatively quiet across the midsection of the nation here. We do have some stronger storms that are pushing offshore the southeastern states. A cold front is also sweeping through and along the northern fringe of it here allowing for that sort of like east northeasterly wind flow to come into play. Now as we go into our future cast we'll see that tomorrow we'll start out with plenty of sunshine for your Monday. It will be a windy day though so factor that in even though it'll, it'll feel uh, slightly warmer than average but it'll feel better if you're on the sunny side of the street tomorrow and then in the afternoon we'll have some clouds beginning to filter in. We're going to have a strong west to northwest wind flow coming in from the Great Lakes. That's going to help pick up some of the moisture from the lakes and then deposit it in the form of snow showers mostly uh, lake effect snow showers that could creep as far south as portions of Sullivan County and maybe into the Poconos too. Other than that, we're relatively quiet. Same thing goes for Tuesday. We'll have plenty of sunshine on that day. Some clouds will filter in towards the afternoon. And once again, we could see a flurry well off to the north here across the central part of the state. And they could creep as far south as Sullivan and maybe even Ulster County late Tuesday night into early on Wednesday. And then we stay pretty quiet. There could be an isolated shower on Wednesday. But other than that, no major rains, at least for the next several days. Tonight, we're dropping down to 40 degrees. But the winds will pick up in speed, gusting to about 25 miles per hour. So tomorrow, expect another windy day. We'll have plenty of sunshine, a little bit cooler with a high of about 51 degrees, but that's actually more normal for this time of year. But factor in that breeze, and again, it will feel better on the sunny side of the street tomorrow. That's where you want to be. Then we start off the spring season as we go into Tuesday. It officially begins after 11 p.m. at night. It'll be a cool start to the season, too. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s as we close out winter and start off the new season. Isolated shower chance on Wednesday. It'll be chilly on Thursday with highs in the 40s and we stay pretty dry until next weekend. That's when we'll see our next chance of rain coming in early on Saturday. Arthur, over to you. All right, thanks so much, Audrey. Well, with that forecast, it's a good time to share good news for those thrill seekers here in the city. Up next, we're telling you what you need to know about the reopening of Coney Island's Luna Park. That's later this week.